Seven. A musical apple. Radio activity. I can see the look of confusion on all of your faces thinking, that was kind of random in Ace. And in a way, I intended it to be, but was it really? tricky business. A lot of us would like to think we understand what it's all about. An event that is unpredictable amongst a series of events. But the truth is, we're actually really bad at generating randomness. If I were to ask you to think of a random number between 1 and 10, chances are a third of the people viewing this video are going to think of the number 7. And that's not random at all. So it quickly becomes apparent that for things such as encrypting sensitive bank details or creating fair prize draws, we want some kind of random generating machine. Now randomness does exist in the wild, radioactive material decays by releasing electrons and the time in between consecutive electrons being released is completely random. However, most of us don't have radioactive material on hand to wire up to our computers to get random numbers when we need them, so for the most part you're probably going to be relying on some kind of algorithm. Hopefully you're with me on the irony that it is to have a formula that spits out random numbers. It just doesn't really exist, but the closest we've got are pseudo-random number generators. Now, if we look inside one of them, you're probably going to find a formula that looks a little bit like this. Don't be scared, it's actually really easy. A and B are really, really large numbers, and M is a really, really large prime number. So all you need to do is choose a number, which is usually the time right now, and pop it into x. Multiply it times a, add b, divide by m, and you take the remainder. That's what mod means. And this is your first random number. And then you can take this number and put it back into the formula. Multiply times a, add b, divide by m, take the remainder, and you've got your second pseudo-random number. And you can keep on repeating this process until you generate a whole list of random numbers. Now, eventually you will get to a point where you find a number that you've seen before, and then you're just going to loop through all the numbers that you've seen already. But provided that you vary A and B, or the first number that you pop in, generally you'll be generating a set of random numbers. And remember how at the start I was saying that we're very bad at generating random numbers? We're also really bad at detecting them. A few years ago, many people wrote into Apple to complain that their iTunes shuffled playlist didn't appear to be random enough, so Apple actually had to rewrite their algorithm into a pseudo-pseudo-random number generator in order to appeal to people's idea of randomness. So if you ask me, we're all pretty bad at this randomness thing, and as for whether my thing at the start was random or not, I'll leave that for you to decide. I hope you learnt something new in this video. If you didn't, check out the blog post at drawcuriosity.com because I've got even more cool and depth things about random numbers and random number generators. I'd love to hear what you thought about this episode and stay tuned because there is more on the way. See you in the next one.